Okay, let's talk about Wix. Making this video because I can't find anything that uh, talks about Wix or how to install it or anything else. So I've got a uh, Raspberry Pi 3 running uh, Wix, and what it does is it takes data from my weather station and then puts it into a database and puts out nice uh, graphs and uh, information such as this uh, web page. <clears throat> it can also uh, give you a little weather map and you can uh, either get it to for the whole United States or put, uh, put it as a uh, even tighter group, but here's your your various uh, temperatures, wind chills, uh, wind speed, barometer, wind direction, etc. Uh, this is for the current, which is essentially 24 hours. This is for the uh, week. You can get it for the month or the year. So you can also upload the uh, information to uh, various uh, weather reporting uh, websites. I uh, chose Weather Underground. For example, it's uh, 41.9. It's updated every five minutes. And <clears throat> this is the uh, GitHub uh, repository. They have a wiki. Tells you all about uh, essentially how to uh, install and run Wix. They also have a uh, website that will also get you information on how to install user's guide, customization, knowledge about system requirements, and although everyone says it's uh, too much to read the instructions, sometimes it uh, really helps because uh, I didn't read the instructions and uh, the guy who wrote it, Tom, said, uh, well, did you notice that you have to do this for uh, what you're trying? And I said, oh, whoops. Then uh, they also have a Google group, and it is uh, we work the Google group, and uh, they have a user and a developer, and they've got all kinds of topics you can search and do all kinds of things. So that's the preliminary, and uh, we'll get back with uh, what to do with uh, how to install it on a new Raspberry Pi 3 that uh, has a uh, hard disk on it. The uh, Raspberry Pi 3, as well as the Raspberry Pi 2, has the all the necessary hardware and software. So, <clears throat> there's a couple ways to install it. You can install from the dev package, or you can install using Python tool setup. Uh, the one that is running right now, which is this guy was installed using the dev package, which uh, seems to be a little, little uh, easier. But the problem with it is the uh, layout where the, all the files are installed is all over the place. 
if you look at setup pi, it's pretty much in one, one area. So I'm going to try to use uh, setup pi to do that. And he has a uh, instructions. If you click on that and go through, you can uh, <coughs> figure out what what is going on. Plus, the other thing is, there are other people that uh, have done this before, and you can follow them. For example, uh, I'm going to use uh, weather station with uh, I2C sensors. And Neville Davis has already done this. So he uh, has a uh, <clears throat> link to his station. So you can see what his station looks like uh, in Australia. You can uh, see what he's got as a block diagram. And best of all, he gives you how to get your Pi configuration and your how to install your WeWix. So I'm going to uh, start uh, <clears throat> doing all these things. These are the prerequisites that you need before you uh, start installing WeWix itself, which is right here. So now we have to uh, get the WeWex uh, source, <clears throat> and the way we do that is with wget from this uh, downloads uh, website, and uh, we'll use WeWex 3.7.0, which is latest.tar.gz. I've already done that, and it gets the tar file into uh, the pi directory then we will move it to the home directory with this command and then we uh, go to the home directory and if we do an ls we'll see that it has the tar.gz and uh, well, we have to go to the uh, directory that uh, after we unpack it, that it went to, which uh, I don't know. Okay, bring home. It's uh, that directory. Wix dash three dot. 7.0, then you uh, do the setup.py and it will make a directory called WeWix. And WeWix has almost all the uh, information that you need. And uh, during the install, it asks you description of the uh, station, latitude, longitude, altitude, and what driver you want. And we put in a simulator, which uh, means you don't even have to have a weather station. You can just uh, have it feed the information to WeWix to make sure that it works. Well, <clears throat> the uh, Apache isn't uh, work, uh, displaying what we want. And what he says is we have to make a symbolic link from um, home WeWix public HTML, which is right here. And here's the index. And he called it weather. 
and that's uh, is good enough for me. So all we do is CD R W H T M L. We do a sudo link dash s, and we link it to home. We works public underscore html and call it weather. Seem to work. Now we should be able to go here. Here <clears throat> we know Apache is working because we went to uh, 192.168.1.166 index and this came up. So we should be able to do weather. index.html and there it is. The other thing you'll have to do, I started uh, WeRex up, everything was working, did the symbolic link, that started working, and then I tried to reboot and it did not uh, automatically start. And what you have to do is essentially do this to uh, get the deep Damon to uh, start up and, and run. That is essentially all there is to getting uh, WeWix to run. And that is how you put in WeWix on your Raspberry Pi and get it at least started. Here's all the uh, Drivers that they have for Accurite, uh, Ambient, they've got Davis, a Fine Offset, you name it. And they've got all these drivers over here that uh, have been tested and uh, work. So if you have any of these, you're in luck. If not, then uh, you can do essentially what. Uh, Neville Davis did and write your own.